Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Chocobo's Dungeon. I'm your host, the Darius. Last we left off, we went through what is probably the final ten levels. Probably. Most likely. Maybe. Sleepy Greens. I'll definitely have to have those when I'm not exactly in a too dangerous situation. Anyways, on to the next ten. And hopefully it won't utterly and completely kick my ass. Of course, that's... Now, let us help Chocobo by sending him our memories. Forgot about that for a second. So, here is hoping that this won't kick my ass. But then again, I do have a couple of Phoenix Downs as well. So, who knows? This might be a success. This might be a terrible, terrible failure. I was kind of hoping that I was going to get into the choke the, the as much as I hate saying it, uh, get into uh, Mr. Moogle's room there. Oh my lord, you are massive. You are also dead. Uh, but I was hoping to get into the Moogle stuff thing shop because there is a Good chance I could have gotten some really powerful armor and talents. Your eyes, so pure and innocent. Chocobo, do you still think you can save me? Yep, that voice is still creepy. That said, though, I wonder just how much of a chance I actually have. Uh huh. Dark Elemental. Dark Elemental. Goblin. Kick the Goblin. You know what? Might as well. Goblin Slap. <laughs> you know, that almost makes me want to get back and uh, get into trying out the actual card game. Because, uh, that kind of shit's funny. Chaos. This is going to go overkill on the Magic Jar. No? Not overkill on the magic jar? It was only overkill on the goblin. I want to say that I was expecting a monster room, but uh, I really wasn't. But with this... Yeah. Alright, I can risk... One round of damage. <laughs> uh, this might be the largest kill total I'll have had the entire game. Ah, dang it. Right, the magic jars didn't die instantaneously from it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Slow saddle... Uh, there's another Tonberry King. This trapped? No. Okay. Could have sworn he was going to try to run away, but okay. Alright, two rounds. Turn around. Every now and then I use a Dark Blade to kill it because I get a little paranoid. Actually, let's go for these greens first. Extremely iffy, regular Gasol. Aha! Uh huh. Uh huh. Dang it. Gonna have to go the long way around this trap. I don't know why about traps will not uh, uh items will not drop in spaces that have traps in them. That said, at least I had a anti-confusion thing on me. Just double checking. There we go. Ah. Uh, better king in this chamber. Get over here so I can kick you. One-shotting Tombet. What is Irma's talents? What is... Irma's talents. I don't have a thing to see what Irma's talents are. Frick. Let's 
okay. It's fine. It's all right. I totally don't need to know right now. Eight floors away from the final floor. Maybe I'll get all identified when I get the place. Chocobo won. Didn't he? Damn, that's right I did. Ah, this sinister place. Lovely. I'm kind of glad that it has the same layout as the... Same general layout, anyways, as the previous bout of floors. Lamia. Sorry, Lilith. She can do the head clap thing as an attack. Is that what that was? I mean, it could easily be mistaken. I don't know. Right. Uh, dispel. I can actually use that on the strength caller. Removes curses. Being cursed sucks. Uh, there's the... Thing. There's another Lilith. This. Dark Breaker is really nice. I really gotta remember to start using it more often. Simply because it does a nice amount of damage without using all of my SP like Chaos or Dark Blade does. As said, Dark Breaker. Ooh, even better use for job points after you no longer need job points is restoring SP. I don't know, I, I'm just thinking of more reasons to actually use job points after the fact, because, I mean, I just uncursed those, lady. That said, those, uh, la the Lamia is doing a lot more damage now. <laughs> Son of a crap it. Yeah, this place is slowly kicking my ass. That said, it's not like I got a long time until I level up. Uh, Balrog. Give me your energy! That's, a, that's very little energy you just gave me there, Balrog. You were more intimidating than the Temple of Elemental Evil. How much, how much SP can I restore without something interrupting me? I'm not afraid of uh, having to chow down on more Gasol Greens just to get further into the dungeon. It's just, I don't want to go into the rest of this dungeon unprepared. It's kind of weird looking at that spirally stuff below me there and seeing it go all vivid pink. I really hope that's not the sound of the game itself stuttering. I swear I hit the diagonal. Actually, you know what? I should... ingest. Just a little bit. And... Let's go dark on you. It's because he's gonna step forward and I can't kick him in the face. You... On the other hand, I should probably Dark Break on. Yeah. Yeah, that feels a lot better than getting kicked in the nads. Slashed in the nads. I don't know. One of the two. Mirage Saddle. Uh, I can probably use that Turbo Ether I found. Just now. Let her get close. Think she's gonna get all lovey dovey on me. And then kick her in the face. That's how Chocobo deals with the ladies she that he doesn't want to deal with. And everything else that he doesn't like. Yeah. <laughs> uh what is my life? Alright, I'm not gonna bother that Lilith. It's a good ten more kills. Before Chocobo levels up to 85. Yeah. I should probably focus on getting those 10 kills. 
10 kills. Jesus. Uh, uh, like, that's pretty much what he's been doing this entire time, but I swear, it just seems like... Oh, of course he got stunned. It just seems a little weird to actually call them kills. Ah, uh, that—that's just the way I think about it. Just weird to call them kills. All right, red gazers. Red gazers aren't that bad. They don't seem to do anything explicitly painful. It's the Liliths and the giants that I'm more afraid of. Because uh, I know that the Liliths just kind of tank a good amount of hits. Not to mention, I think the Red Gazers actually give off a lot more uh, beneficial stuff. Like, they drop Turbo Weavers. A good a lot of the times. Not all the time, but a good, good amount of the times. Alright, what do we got there? Eh? Step up right beside him. Be all like, hey, kick the nuts. Omega Saddle. Game, stop making me want to leave the final areas of the area because I don't, I can't, I don't think I can. I just don't know if I can. Alright, one more lap. One more lap. And that should be, okay, not, eh, one more lap. I keep saying one more lap because I just gotta freaking force myself to stop grinding at times. I think perhaps the Raphaella was reborn. Yes? <sighs> Game has a way of making me feel a little incompetent. Even when I've got all the things to prevent other things, it's like, oh hey! You've got to make it so as you don't get affected by this one thing. Alright, this is the same chamber sort of situation. Where are all the monsters? That there, there are monsters in this dungeon, right? There they are, they're all sleeping in this chamber. Okay, if I step forward. One step. And Dark Breaker. Give me your XP's. There we go. Level up. Now, what the hell did I pick up? <laughs> oh my god. Freaking all the goddamn. I don't want all that goddamn. You know what? Might as well. Sleepy potion. Or sleepy thingy. So I want to see what's up with this saddle. It's a slow saddle. Never mind. I don't want to know what's up with this thingy. It teleported me a whole, like, six spaces away. Game, your priori priorities of screwing with me are weird. Just want to point that out. Ugh. Alright. Get into this. Kick the guy. Proceed to next floor. Hope that being 10 levels below won't kill me. Or maybe it will. I don't know. Well, 11 levels below won't kill me. Gotta hope 11 levels below won't kill me. I mean, I got all the Phoenix sounds I should need, but... Uh, Antarctic Wind. I really don't need Antarctic Winds, right? Let's kick Balrog. Dude just really loved sleeping. Couldn't tell you why. Oh. Why did you have to take that additional step in, Chocobo? Why? Know what? I know I say it, say it pretty much about every single game that I Let's Play slash think of Let's Playing, but I would actually kind of really like to see how the hell someone would speedrun 
through Chocobo's dungeon, at the least through uh, this section. The 100 level dungeon, anyways. I mean, clearly they would have to be probably maxed out in level. Ooh. And they would likely have to have previously leveled up all their gear. Eh, I don't know. It's just an interesting idea. I mean, I've seen people that get extremely lucky doing Tornico's dun uh, Tornico. Which reminds me, I really need to redo Tornico at some point. Don't mind me, just sitting here waddling in place. Waddle, waddle, waddle in place. Just a little bit. Allow me to express my gratitude as well. Thank you. Sure, ma. Crew, ma. Raffaello. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think of some sort of connection with the names. Usually there's some sort of connection. This is a weirdly designed dungeon. Very straightforward. Kick the demon. Um, let's try it this way first. Nothing. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, if I wait one turn, I can Dark Breaker the both of them. Glorious. Man, if I could take out more enemies two at a time, that would make leveling up so much faster. Bomb shard. Not sure how useful bomb shards will be, but isn't it something like Faraga? I think it's something like Faraga. Or it is Faraga, and I gotta just shut up. <sighs> the Dark Basilisks take a lot of damage. Saps HP from a foe, yes please. Not as much as I was hoping. Um, that's a little bit more of the dungeon right here. Oh. A little bit more of the little bit more of the dungeon. <sighs> Should I deal with this guy? Like, I constantly look at my... The amount of experience points I need until I level up next. And I'm like, mm, do I need to? And the answer is usually yes. So do it. Thanks, Chocobo, for everything. Ooh. You know it's going to get intense when they start pulling out the Thanks, Chocobo stuff. Alright, you're three away, so I can dark you. Oh, it's just my slow saddle. In hindsight, I didn't need to dark him. <laughs> All in hindsight, I really didn't care about what it was that he stole, but still. That's my thing he stole, damn it. Oh! Uh, next boss is coming up really quickly now. In that it is in the next level. Bollocks. Okay. It's fine. It's good. I'm totally prepared. Physically, maybe not mentally. Starting to think I should have saved these last ten floors for the final, final, final episode. Because keep in mind that there is those uh, additional dungeons that are supposedly after this. And now to put off fighting it as long as possible. Ooh, X potion. See, there's totally a use in uh, putting it off because there's a bunch of monsters that have a bunch of stuff that I could totally use against it. Stop criticaling so I can put it off longer. No. <laughs> Alright. Ow. Dang it, just a hogging. Dude blindsided me because I was just kind of gunning for the south area. More X potions. Hell yeah. Uh, let's just drink this one. Because I need food, too. 
And nothing of value in this chamber. Great. Now the question is, do I want to just chill in front of this until I get all my SP back? The answer is yes. Ah, good. More monsters to fight. More monsters I fight, the faster my SP can get back. You know, presuming he'd stop putting me into sleep. There we go. Wow, look at that small mound of money he put in front of me. Can't wait to pick that up in about 50 seconds. Wonder what this next fight's gonna be like. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be a stronger version of the Raffaello fight. Now, here's a better question. Should I save state scum? I kind of really don't want to. Like, I did so while I was doing some grinding because if I fight the tiny cactuars, they give off a bunch of experience points. But when I'm actually playing, playing, it's kind of eh. I don't want to. Just feels like it ruins the integrity of the Let's Play itself. Not that there's much integrity to the Let's Play. <laughs> Something feels wrong, the game says, with 69 remaining help, uh, remaining food. And as I put myself to sleep when it says something is wrong. All right, let's do this. Goodbye, Chocobo. Goodbye, everyone. That is not Raffaello. That was Bahamut. Bahamut. Who quite handily was kicking my ass when I was not in post-game. Uh, balls. I'm not sure what to do besides put on a phoenix down. Uh, all those are not going to help. Shows the entire map. Oh yeah, that'll help. Oh yeah, we just slow. Slow the bastard down. And it missed. Of course it did. Mega Flare. Oh, Jesus. Feel like I should have used one of the... Okay. You want to chill a second, Bahama. Yeah, I probably should have used the angel's robes. Uh, balls. This is gonna hurt a lot. Because he's gathering power again. I wonder if I can... How much the dark blade will do this time? A lot. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh god, I'm so close to dead. That did 999 damage, and it barely took out of sixths of his health bar. So I just gotta do it six more times, right? Uh, no. Use on HP, yeah. I'm so low in HP that it will no longer use. Let me use Dark Blade or Shadow. I I did not think this entirely through. Alright. Ow. Double ow. I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, I probably can't put him to sleep. I already got Phoenix down on me. Uh, Rage of Zeus? Yeah, nah. Come back to life. Wonder if I could. I don't know. I'm thinking of things I could possibly do, and none of it's really adding up in my head. Um. Because if I just use protect. I'll protect me from his physical attacks, and then he starts gathering the powers. Ah. Uh, Probably can't interrupt him, so let's use an angel's robe. 
Impulse. Hey, no damage that time. Awesome. Ah, right. Forgot about the Maelstrom. I'm dead. <laughs> Just I'm dead. Can I chaos you? How much will chaos do? Next to nothing. Great. Oh, wait. Are all his attacks considered magic? Oh, I should have been keeping the angel's robes as much as I could. Damn it. All right. Gotta prepare that in case my angel's robes just kind of putter out on me. I can't use Dark Blade yet. If I heal and Dark Blade him again. Wait, I just can't use Dark Blade. <sighs> okay, alright. I'm good, I'm good, I'm fine. No longer immune to magic damage. Okay. Can I now use it? No. Can't send him to sleep. Uh, let's do this. Seeing as I'm gonna get knocked out next round, anyways. Yep. Mega Flare! I'm doing good. Relatively speaking. Okay, Phoenix down. So that's the secret to taking out Bahamut. You need the angel's wings. I don't know if need is the strongest word for it, but, you know, they certainly help. All right. Dark Blade. Push him back. Does a regular attack. I move forward. Can I do one more Dark Blade? No. I'm saving my X Potion for when I run out of... <sighs> if I do it now, if I use the X Potion now... Balls. 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 I can't Chaos. Uh, if I Dark Breaker him, that'll do... Quite a bit of damage. Okay, so next, when I wake up, use one of my ethers. Or I could drain blade. Now, now, don't risk it. Turbo ether. Use that. Dark breaker in the fight. Or dark blade and completely guarantee a win. Whew. Why are there stairs down? Why are there more stairs down? Thank you, Chocobo. Oh, thank God. Oh, come on. Don't don't do this to me, game. Ah. Oh, what do I get for Chocobo's memories? <laughs> I mean, I'm saving after that. 
Also, I think I need to restart the... Oh, wait, what's... Oh, that's the... Yeah. Anyways, um... What, what do you got to say, Irma? Stella, sorry. You saved the world. What else can I say? Me, Sherma, and Chroma, we all thank you. Not just us. I think all of us here are glad to have met you. Thanks for everything, Chocobo. Well, that was a little less intense than I thought it was going to be. I completely lie. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I got a little bit in the mail. All right. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. Probably restart the emulation machine. When we return, I'm not yet done with this game. In fact, there are at least three more dungeons for me to go through, so yay for that. Ah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.